Welcome to Welcome to Welcome to Welcome to my Welcome to Welcome to Enjoy your stay. Hey, what's up, you guys, and welcome to this little very long commentary video. 40 plus minutes. Wow, that's that's a long time. Uh, you're welcome to scroll through this if you don't want to watch it all. Today I'm going to do commentary on the full length videos of all the videos that was featured in my best of Michael Novak 2014 on my main channel. Be sure to go check that out. I got the idea from Brock Baker, uh, who did kind of the same thing. He did best of uh, his own videos from 2014, and he did on his second channel, he did uh, commentary of the full video. So we start out with this very awesome uh, Epic Lord parody thing, thingamajig. Um, I had actually filmed the intro that you just saw with me and Marcus. I had filmed that on my own, uh, and it became horrible. There was horrible sound and everything because a lot of shit fucked up. Um, and I just decided to do one with Marcus just for the fun of it. And it was kind of horrible, I'm not going to lie. I'm not too proud of that little sequence, but I really love the actual rap. So, you know, it, it makes up for it, I think, with the rap, because I really, I did, I actually wrote that on my own. I don't know if you know this, but I can't write songs, <laughs> which is also why uh, Danny Warren, uh, the Jokes is 1001, had to write the Epic Rap Battles of History parody for me, um, because I can't do that on my own. Like, I am so unoriginal when it comes to th things like that, and I was really proud of this one, because I sat down and I wrote this all on my own. Um, and filmed it, and this green screening, I think, is amazing, considering I had such a shitty green screen, it was unbelievable. Now I have professional lighting and professional green screen and everything. Back then, uh, I only had, <laughs> the only lighting I had was the blitz on my camera. Uh, I used a Samsung Galaxy S3 phone to record, and there was just a blitz on that. And the green screen was one I had made myself out of cardboard cutouts, you know, uh, that I had actually taken from my previous school. And so, you know, I was very impressed by the green screen result because I don't think I have... I have a little green line, you can see that, but that's details. I mean, I think it, it became really awesome. And I actually used a real... the real Epic Lord background that I actually took from one of his videos. Instead of just putting, you know, these three colors, I actually took his background. That's not my microphone either on the side. Uh, <laughs> just want to let you know that. Um, I had a microphone, but I didn't use it. Okay, on to the next video very quickly. This is uh, my second adventure vlog, um, where I was in Knudenborg Safari Park, um, and as I recall, this was actually filmed in 2013, I think. I'm not even sure, uh, because I had it lying for like a long time before I uploaded it. It was one of the, uh, like, I always do this where I stock up footage, like, I stock up videos. Because I go to college where I'm at eight hours a day and have tons of homework, so I don't have the time to do well prepared, well thought of uh, comedy videos every single week. So what I do is every single vacation, I make a shit ton of videos. I make at least three main channel videos a week, which is a lot. Um, and I have to do that because if I didn't do that, I couldn't make it work with uploading every single Saturday. And I do it all for you guys. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, so I have to do that, and I made this, and I and I had all these other videos to upload, and I uploaded all of them first, and this was one of the last ones I had before, before another vacation came where I filmed a lot of videos. This was one of the last ones uh, that I had that I uploaded, as far as I remember. Uh, but I really like this one because it's really good in nature. I thought actually when I make when I made it, I thought it was kind of boring to be honest with you. Um, but I looked back on it when I was making the best of Michael Lord 2014, and it's actually really fun and family loving, <laughs> as is the only video on my main channel to be family friendly, I think, uh, and Disney Channel y sort of thing, uh, because you have this really happy motivational music. Uh, that really adds to, to like the effect of it, and you see this bright sun, it was in the midsummer, and it was just, you could see it was just really nice weather, and you see these really happy animals that are really happy with being where they were, this is the, the biggest, like, a nature park in Denmark, and they have all these animals, and they're super happy to be there, as you can see with these, <laughs> with these animals wagging their tails, like, and being lazy, because they love being there, and it's just, that's really, you know, if you love animals like I do, 
that's really nice to see happy animals like that. Uh, so I really actually like this video a lot. Um, you're about to see footage from uh, of an actual tiger, which is uh, quite amazing. There it is. Didn't get too much footage of it because uh, it was really hot the day we were there. And so the tigers didn't want to come, they didn't want to do anything. They were just laying on the ground, literally just sleeping all day. Um, so I couldn't get too much footage of them, but, you know, there we go. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, I think it's the only place in Denmark that has actual tigers, except for the zoo, Copenhagen Zoo. Um, anyways, so yeah, I made this, um, and I love the Adventure Vlog series. I really do. Okay, we move on to the next video. Neat glasses, a commercial spoof video. Uh, I thought it'd be fun to take this fake glass company. I really like the opening scenes here, uh, where I did all this stupid stuff. I uh, even wet the carpet, which my parents would be very mad if they knew. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, I mean, this, what you're hearing right now, you can vaguely hear the sound of the video. It's actually dubbed. Because back when I recorded this, as you can see, I had the shitty green screen, and I also had a really shitty microphone. The only microphone that I had was a wireless microphone that I had bought for not even a hundred bucks. And even though that's, like, you can get a pretty decent microphone for that amount of money, I had bought some really cheap shit. And so, uh, so the result is there by following. It was really shitty sound. And I just thought, I can't upload this. So this is one of those videos that I had, uh, you know, laying on my computer for a long time. Because I was like, I can't upload this. But I love the idea, you know. And it was, it's funny. It's funny to me. Um, but, uh, and I didn't want to reshoot it. Which I obviously should have. Because it would have been so good if I just reshot the video. But whatever. So I decided to dub it instead. Um, because I think this idea is genius. So instead of just not uploading anything... I thought, why not just, you know, why not just, um, dub it? And that's what I did. So, yeah. Uh, seven minutes in already. Oh, my God. Um, I have a lot to talk about, <laughs> apparently. Uh, no, but, you know, there's actually not that much more to say about this video. Um, I felt, I feel like back then when I made this video, I had a more creative side than I have now, because it's become harder and harder and harder to come up with ideas for videos. And this was just brilliant. So we move on to the next video. My Truth, the My Family. Um, not My Truth. It's just called The Truth. The My Family video. Um, that I'm, I'm very proud of filming this. It was awesome. <laughs> um, you know, I, I film a lot of my videos in the living room. And, you know, my mom is actually on the side. Like, most of the times. Because she, um, she has a lung disease. Which means that she isn't working. So she's home, like, all the time. And so she's on the side often when I when I record these videos. So she watches me, you know, act all these different parts, these different characters. And that's kind of awkward, but I have gotten into the role of doing that. Um, you know, and I'm really proud of this video, actually. Um, it turned out way better than I had anticipated. And it's, it's kind of my way of saying to the people that didn't like the My Family sitcom that I know how ridiculous the concept is. I love the concept of these characters, and I love the concept of having a sitcom series with them. And I'm thinking about doing a season two, but that's a whole other thing. Um, but yeah, so I love the concept of these, these, uh, these characters here. And so I will keep making videos with them because I love these characters and I love that I can pull them in and do amazing videos with them. And that's why I make them even though they, I know that they're myself, you know, and I get these, a lot of these comments of people thinking I'm retarded. Um, and I'm allowed to use that word because people actually do think I'm retarded. I'm not even kidding because they're like, well, they're all you. And I'm like, well, do you think I'm blind or anything? Because, of course, I can see that they're all me. I, I film them, I edit them, I know it's me. And that's to me, is what's funny about it, but apparently not to some people. So I decided to make this video. Uh, we're moving on to the next one. Just want to finish that one uh, commentary for the last one. I decided to make that video to make fun of the people who didn't like the sitcom. Alright, so this is my, my, uh, this is my Instagram parody video of Nacho Punch. Um... I am not the biggest fan of Super Red 86. I don't have anything against the guy, but that just means that I hadn't seen his original. This is my Instagram video that he did on his um, main channel uh, with his own Instagram. So I didn't think he had made fun of himself in any of these This Is My Instagram videos. 
but he actually had an Spain channel. Uh, so fuck me, right? But these are not any of the pictures that he used in that one. And I really like the concept of this one. Uh, and I had a little fallout with one of my really good internet buddies, uh, Danny Warren, um, because he uploaded, like, three or four days after me, he uploaded a parody of This Is My Instagram as well. Um, which, you know, I, I said to him, you know, copy much, you know? Because it just seemed too convenient that he would do that just three or four days after. Um, but, you know, we're, we're cool now, and his his parody is so awesome. And, you know, even better than mine. Um, really, really good. Uh, and Ed Wilderman himself, uh, Super Ed 86 actually commented on the video, this video itself, and said that he liked it, um, which is a huge thing for me, because this guy has half a million subscribers, this guy works with the most, like, uh, successful YouTubers that there is on the site, and he saw my video, uh, so that's really awesome. We move on to the short film period of this video, there's gonna be a few short, short films, um, actually two only, but I'll get to that. So this is the, the the my first short film of the year. This is what actually brought me into the short film business. I had done one on cyberbullying, I think it was, uh, in 2013. Um, but I didn't really want to take it to the next level. You know what I mean? Uh, it was just sort of a short film because it wasn't a it wasn't a comedy sketch or anything like that. So I just called it a short film. Uh, but that wasn't the point in it. The point wasn't to make a short film. It was just to make this video about cyberbullying. Um, but this took me into the, to the short film short film business. Because this short film was actually made for, for a uh, report thing I had last year in school. Where I had to write this really long report. It was 17 pages long on how to become a film director. Um, and one of the topics I had to write a lot about was short films and so for that you know for that purpose I made my own short film with Marcus as you can see uh, so it was made for that per for that purpose and I loved working with Marcus so much that we made uh, the big one the eight minute long short film not so long after because I just love working with Marcus that's when I found out uh, at this point and there's even credits. I left the credits in. I didn't leave the bloopers in that's in the, the actual main video. And I actually got the top grade on that report, on that 17 pages report. I got the, 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 like the highest grade you can get in Denmark. Um, so yeah. This is my, my time travel short film. Uh, and I know what you're going to be thinking. You're going to be thinking, why isn't the 8 minute short film in it? The, um, uh, the uh, bullying... And suicide, wasn't it what, it's, what I called it? What did I call it? Uh, suicide and bullying, a short film, I think that's what I called it, right? Anyway, uh, I, I left that one out because I actually did commentary with Marcus, uh, who was my co-star in that, on my second channel. It's here on my second channel. You can go find it. I will leave a link in the description. Um, so that's why I wouldn't do commentary on it again. Um, but this is my short film, Time Travel, with, that I did with Marcus. The first minute and a half of this of this short film... Uh, was really good, and we used a lot of time on doing that. We used an entire day just filming these out scenes because we had a lot of problems with uh, his uh, with with neighbors and his siblings and everything. It was just it was very chaotic, and this so this was filmed the day after, um, because I hadn't anticipated for it to take such a long time, because it, it is kind of a short uh, short film, I suppose you can say it's a really short short film, <laughs> uh, but you know. Yeah, man, this is awesome acting by Marcus. Uh, but <laughs> uh, I love that guy. But uh, but yeah, so it it took a while. I I went up to him and thought we're gonna get get this done in a day, and it actually took two days. Um, and I didn't I didn't sleep over at him, so I actually left all my equipment at his house and then went home and then came back the day after. Uh, it was really chaotic. I think it was in wasn't it in the summer vacation? I think I don't re even remember. Uh, but the reason why 2014 has been, you know, the year where I've made the most videos and the, the most thought of videos, the, the most unique videos, is because I was in 10th grade um, from 2013 to 2014. I was in 10th grade, which is like this sort of really chill year of school where you're only in school for four hours every day and you don't have any homework or anything. It's kind of this relaxed year. If you're tired of school after 9th grade, it's kind of this sort of preparation year for college, and uh, I took that with Marcus, and uh, that's actually where I met Marcus, 
and became friends with him, which is kind of awesome. He approached me on the third day of school. He approached me and was like, you know, let's be friends. And it was kind of an awkward moment. We were on this field trip where we had to bike for, uh, we had to bike like, I don't know, eight, nine miles out to this, to this um, thing where we we're going to be doing these different exercises and things like that to get to know each other. And it was like six or seven miles each way. And I am not in the best shape of my life. So I, uh, <laughs> I had a hard time bicycling and it rained like shit when we went home, when we were going to, when I was going to drive home. It rained so much. It was unbelievable. I was in tears. Anyway, uh, so that was a really horrible day, but it's still one of the best days of my life because that's when Marcus approached me and uh, we became instant buddies. And he's now my best friend. So, yeah. This is our video uh, with internet arguments in real life. Um, that I also a video I did with Marcus. Um, and I just, I really love working with Marcus. The funny thing about this video is actually we filmed it and then like, I think like a week later, two weeks later, um, I, I had it laying on my computer, not the part where I'm in my house in front of the door, like, like you can see here. That part wasn't filmed. I filmed only the, the outdoor scenes with Marcus, um, or, you know, the scenes at his house with, with him. And then it just laid on my computer and I completely forgot we had even made it and completely forgot that it wasn't finished. And so, like, a couple of weeks later, I was like, fuck, I haven't made this. So, you know, I, uh, I, I made the rest of it. So I think that's kind of weird because you'd think I would remember during all this, but apparently I just forgot. Uh, so, yeah, this turned out to be a really great video. Um, I was really in my, in my all-time S, I think, or whatever you call it. Uh, in the summer vacation of this year, where I made like a 24th or 25 uh, main channel videos, I was really, you know, in my A game. I really brought my A game there when it comes to also writing the scripts for the videos because I wrote three scripts a week. Videos for three main channel videos a week. I could, I could not even get near to doing that today. I can at top write one a week, because you can't just flicker on creativity just like that. Um, but I did, and it was on vacation, and they all turned out amazing, which is like, the weirdest thing. I didn't even think that was possible, but apparently so. Uh, and I really wanted to make fun of Miley Cyrus, because at this time, when we filmed this, it was a very big deal, uh, her performance at the VMAs. It was a very big deal. A lot of people were talking about it, and so I really wanted to poke fun of it, and I really wanted to... Uh, to just call out all these smilers that are, like, defending her and, like, oh, she's, you know, she's amazing and all that. And I was like, no, she's a slut. Get over it. Don't, I mean, Miley is probably a nice girl and everything, but she's a slut. Let's not take it for more than it actually is. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands here, by the way. Um, <laughs> look at the hands. Anyway, uh, but let's not take it for more than it is. Miley is a slut. And that's okay. I mean, fine, whatever. Um, and I don't mean slut in, like, sense have, having sex with a lot of guys, but in her performances and the things that she does, that's slutty behavior. I don't care what you say, that's slutty behavior. But that's fine, it's her life, she can do whatever the fuck she wants to. I don't get why people get, you know, offended by what she does. It's her life, right? Uh, anyways, not more about Miley Cyrus, but I really want to make fun of that. Uh, here is our Schmosh parody that we did together, If TV Shows Were Real. Um, I'm really proud of this parody. Um, this was actually, th this was, um, I think we made this video even before the video you just saw earlier. Uh, I think this is our second video together. You know, the one after the, sh the, the escape short film. This is our, you know, second video together. And I was, I'm so proud of this one. This is my, one of my all time favorite videos that I made this, uh, this past year. Uh, and I'm so proud of it. Oh my God. I think it is so amazing. <laughs> Besides the short film, I am most proud of this one and then the Nika Higa parody. It was really awesome. Which is right after this one, by the way. Um, and it was so fun shooting it. Um, I think we used... We only used a day on shooting it, actually. Um, which is kind of amazing, I think. Because of how awesome it turned out. Um, but this is one of like the best videos I've made, I think, uh, in 2014. And I was so proud of this video that I was like, I have to work a lot more with Marcus. I have to do a lot more videos with Marcus. And so we did. 
all throughout uh, the summer vacation in 2014. And we still make a lot of videos together. We make videos together, like, all of the time. Uh, every single vacation, we do at least one video together. Um, here in the... This is actually filmed on the Sunday. Sunday the... What, what do we have now? The 5th or the 4th? I can't remember. Of January. The 4th of January. Uh, this is actually filmed on the last day of my Christmas vacation. And I have actually filmed a comedy video with Marcus um, this, um, this Christmas vacation as well. And I filmed with him... Uh, in the fall vacation as well, and so, you know, we film all the time together because I still love working together with Marcus. And I have a big production in the works. A uh, new big short film is going to be longer than my last one. It's going to feature a lot more people. You know, it's going to feature four other people than myself. Um, it's my biggest production so far. Uh, I am even I even have a budget for it. Like, it's... All of it is thought out. The script is six pages long. Uh, I don't know how long the short film's gonna be, but I'm really looking forward to shooting that, and I'm planning on shooting it in the summer vacation. And of course, Marcus has to be one of the vital uh, parts of that short film. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I like that whole thing. A lot of people uh, say that it's repetitive and pointless that I shoot, always shoot people in every single video that I do, every single comedy video. In the end, or whenever I do it, I just include shooting all the time. And to those people, I say, fuck you. No, uh, <laughs> those people, I say, I know, I know how ridiculous it is, but I think that is what makes it funny, to take a joke and just keep beating it to the ground. Um, so this is our Expectation versus Reality parody uh, of Nega Hega. We, we watched his, his version where he did about action movies, um, the 10-minute version he did. He's made a couple of them, but the 10-minute version we watched, and we were really amazed by it because... That guy is a genius, like, both in writing and filming and editing and everything. Oh my god, he's good at what he does. And we really wanted to make a parody of it, um, so I wrote this one. And that turned out amazingly as well. I'm really proud of this one, actually. Because, I like, all these movies that we sort of parody in this video, I am a huge fan of. Um, and so, it was really, really weird, but also really amazing at the same time to get to make fun of all these classic movies. Um, so yeah, this is our Back to the Future sequence, where I take out the plot. Uh, The Matrix, this was, it turned out way more awesome than I had thought. I like this little bullet effect, I know it's very cheap CGI, but I'm not a professional editor, just wanna say so. Uh, but I really like how we made fun of this, uh, of, uh, oh my god, of Matrix, it was awesome. And Forrest Gump! We did that all in one take, and as you can see, I have split the scenes up. Uh, it's actually done in one take. We're sitting next to each other. It's not done in two takes and then me putting them together. But the bench was really long, so I just put them together. Um, and Marcus is in there with his lunchbox. It was, supposed to, it was supposed to be that box of chocolates that he has in the movie. Um, and Marcus, actually, we did the... This is the expectation run with the reality one that you're seeing right now. Marcus has a bit of a hard time uh, keeping a straight face. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> he has such a hard time keeping a straight face. Uh, and he, I mean, when we were done recording that, he laughed like crazy. And I did too, because it was so fun to record. And uh, the Home Alone one, I've always wanted to make fun of Home Alone, because I think it is such a ridiculous concept that all these, like, all these really, really dangerous things happen to these uh, two thieves, amateur thieves. And they're, they're not like, influenced by it at all. It hurts, but nothing happens to them. And I and I wanted to make fun of that a little bit. Um, and we did that in his kitchen. And his whole family was there, as I remember, as I recall. Uh, which is kind of weird doing it in front of them, but, you know, that's what... That's the kind of things you have to do as a YouTuber. Uh, and this is our epic Food Battles of History, or Epic Rap Battles of History parody that I also did with Marcus. I have done a lot of videos with Marcus, but they're all awesome. Um, hot Dog vs. Banana. This is the parody that, uh, this is the, the script that Danny Warren wrote for me, The Jokes is 1001. He wrote that, he wrote this, uh, this, this, uh, song for me. Uh, and it took a year to realize it because, you know, make it a, a real, real thing because I had to buy the costumes, but that wasn't, that was the least of my troubles. But I had to get the right equipment, that was the hardest thing to get the right equipment. Uh, that really took a lot of time to get the right equipment. So after like a year, we'd finally recorded it and made it. Um, 
And I actually, I used three days, I remember, on editing it, where I would literally use, like, I don't know, eight hours every day of those three days just to edit it, which is, like, 24 hours straight just editing this video, um, because a lot of it goes into it. Um, it's also, it's really upsetting for me, I think, that if you look closely here, you can see, not closely, it's kind of obvious, you can see I don't wear the same shirt, but that was because uh, in the close-up that we originally did, uh, the yellow is such is so bright that my uh, editing software couldn't tell the difference between green and yellow, and so I had to redo that take and uh, on my blue screen because I also have a blue screen. So I had to redo it on the on the blue screen, and so I couldn't use my blue shirt because that would get you know obviously greened out or chroma keyed out. Um, so it was kind of a mix up, but it turned out pretty good. This. Is my British English versus American English, I think, isn't this the video? I can't tell them apart because I made uh, the American Patriot video thing and the, the British English versus American English is, is that one. Um, and they're very much alike. Um, they're just with, with my two so-called brothers, um, my British brother and my American brother, obviously. And, um, you know, but they're very much alike in that, per in that perspect. Is that what you say? I don't know. <laughs> and that point of view is very, uh, it's, they're very alike each other. Um, but yeah, I really, I really like these two ones. I did them almost right after each other, actually, in the summer vacation. I think there was a week, uh, that was, you know, the part, <laughs> how do I say it in English? Um, I do not speak the English language, uh, from recording this video to recording the American Patriot video, only like a week was in between. Um, so I kind of wrote <laughs> this script and then, you know, the American Patriot script almost right after, you know, making this one. So they're very much alike. Uh, and there's a flaw in here that nobody has pointed out yet. I don't know why. Um, but Popsicle and Lollipop are not the same thing. Popsicle is an ice cream uh, and a lollipop is what I'm, you know, having in my mouth. Um, and I didn't realize this until having already filmed it, so I just thought, what the heck, why not? And nobody has pointed out, pointed it out. And this ending is by far my favorite part of this video. Uh, it's one of the, it's one of my most proudest videos of the year. Um, this one, also because of the lighting, this is one of the first videos I've ever done, uh, that I did, uh, with professional lighting. But I really like this ending, it's really funny, it, ma it still makes me laugh, uh, with bringing him back and shooting him again, and, uh, making him, you know, make out with the DVD box set, it was just, it was so funny, um, and it was so funny to record also, and, uh, I also, I always show my mom the videos that I create, sort of, to get her approval of them, I suppose, just to kind of see what kind of uh, response she has to them, uh, if she doesn't like them, then I probably shouldn't upload them, and if she likes them and thinks they're funny, that means they're funny. It's kind of the, the way I go by, and that seems to be working fine. Um, and she laughed so much at this one, so that was awesome. <coughs> but again, she's my mom, so she loves everything I do, I do. But it's not with everyone. It's not with every video that I do that she laughs. Um, but with the, the, the one you just saw, she really laughed. This one I used a long time on filming. Like, really a long time on filming. Um, I think I used, like, four hours on just filming it. Um, because it's also such a long video. I think it's like, what, five minutes or something like that, I don't know, can't remember, um, and it was, it was one of those videos, I say it again, but it's one of those videos of 2014 that I am most, the most proud of, I am so proud of this one, I think it turned out so great, and the writing is genius, I, I feel like, uh, but for a long time I've wanted to make fun of YouTubers and the stupid things that YouTubers do, like beg for money of their subscribers and, like, always ask for views and subscribers and rating, all that stuff, and all the, you know, gaming wannabe noobs that wanna be, you know, as big as PewDiePie and only get to 80 subscribers and then they, they don't rise because people don't wanna watch their shit, uh, because they do it really amateur-like. With the lackey software, or just their, you know, their phone filming their TV screen, uh, or webcam filming their TV screen. So I really wanted to make fun of that, and I did in this video, and it was so much fun. Um, and genius thought of, of me, I feel like. And then, because uh, I'm an idiot, and didn't upload it uh, early enough, about a month after I'd made it, when I hadn't uploaded it, still, Onishan made his 
uh, five, uh, ten things I hate about YouTubers, where some of these were the same things that he made fun of. Um, for example, the ones where they say, I love you, I love you guys, and then, you know, they don't know them, so they could be, like, a serial murder rapist, and they <laughs> they have just told them that they love them. Um, and he, he made his version, where some of the things were the same, and it's just like, oh, fuck, people are gonna say I copied him. Fuck! Uh, but I actually did make mine the, f- uh, first. Um, I do have proof of it, actually, on my Instagram account, but that's a longer story. If you want the details, write it in the description, um, because I can give you the proof that I actually made one- mine before his. And I actually make fun of him in that one. <laughs> make fun of his, uh, Banana Song parody thing. This video is actually funny because I made this version of the banana song from my Onision parody that I did. Uh, but then I ended up doing five things I love about YouTubers. No, uh, five things I love about dogs. Uh, which didn't really turn out too well. Uh, but I had created another one where I made fun of all his different channels. And he, he, the way that he, you know, is on all of his uh, channels. And that was, I, I was proud of this one, of that one. It was way longer it was so good. I really used a long, long time on it. And I made the banana song from scratch. Like, I, I made a video for that song. Where I went out in my garden and filmed from four different perspectives. Doing the dance and the song and lip syncing to it. And used about a month adding it up in Windows Life Movie Maker. <laughs> and it really took a long time. And then I thought, fuck, copyright. I'm not going to be able to upload this. So I didn't. Uh, but then I was able to use a short, short, uh, clip of it in this video, because I don't think Onision would mind, honestly, uh, that I used 10 seconds of his video. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened with my camera there, where it lagged. Um, but my earlier camera, this is not the camera I have now, but my earlier camera did that, uh, every once in a while. I don't know why, but, you know, I don't think it ruins anything. It's a small detail, he probably didn't even notice it. Um, but yeah, this is making fun of the gamers. The amateur gamers. <laughs> My mom was actually not there for the, the shooting of this video. She was actually in the hospital at this point. She goes to the hospital, like, a lot um, because of her lung disease. Uh, they have to do checkups on her all the time and, you know, different tests because they still don't know what's wrong with her. Um, so they have to do a lot of tests and, and things with her. Uh, so she's in the hospital a lot. Uh, I say a lot. She hasn't really been for a long time now. But she was at this point for, I don't know, three days, four days. It's not too long of a period. Uh, the, the top is like a week. Uh, now we move on to, to a new video. Um, but when I shot that five things that I hate about YouTubers, she wasn't there because she was in the hospital. Anyway, so, so I had the house for myself. So, uh, this is the American Patriot video that I talked about having shot only a week after the British English versus American English one. Um... But it, it's I'm I'm proud of these videos um, because I really like the lighting. You look at it and it looks like an art piece. It really does. It looks like that guy. Oh, I can't remember his name now. The guy that uh, Epic Rap Battles made fun of, sort of in their uh, newest Epic Rap Battles, in their newest Epic Rap Battle. Um, that movie director thing that did these art pieces, sort of films. Uh, <laughs> because when I look at this, it looks so like. Oh my god, it looks like art. It's it's beautiful, I think. With the lighting and everything, it looks beautiful. Uh, but yeah. One day after, <laughs> the green screen setup. Yeah, this is after I got, you know, the lighting and perfect green screen and everything. The reason why I'm still sort of green is because I, I use Adobe After Effects to green screen all my stuff. But that lowers the quality of the video. I don't know why, but it, it just does. And I thought, I didn't want to have to deal with that because it was just a, such a short sequence. So I just thought, why the heck not just do it in Adobe Premiere Pro that I use <clears throat> for editing all my videos. Because that doesn't lower the quality. Uh, but it turned out beautifully still. And I found that stock footage that you saw of an American flag and that was amazing. Also, this little monologue they have here, uh, I thought was really well planned out. And you sort of have to be a fan or sort of just have to have watch the sitcom to uh, to get this dialogue. As you can see, we see clips of the sitcom uh, where he's being a redneck saying all these really racist stuff and all these really, like, really fucked up stuff. Because that's that's the whole part about Bill. That's what I think is so genius about Bill. Is he's just such an American redneck. It is unbelievable. 
Uh, <laughs> he loves guns, he loves America, he's against Obama, like, all these things. He, he likes Bush, you know, the chalk like this, like, he, he loves all that stuff. He loves everything that's American and everything like that, even though he's not American himself, which is the ironic part, but there you go. And so he speaks with this really terrible American accent. That's, uh, that's actually not... When you hear him speak, I'm not trying my best to do an American accent. I'm, I'm making a shitty American accent uh, on purpose because that's the joke. Because he's not American. Just like John isn't British. They're not from these nationalities. They're not British. They're, he's not British. He's not American. They're just my brothers from Denmark, you know. So <laughs> that's the funny thing for me in doing these characters. Um... Is ha giving them this horrible accent. Also, the part with Eugene you just saw, and with, you know, you see all my filming gear, and I make fun of the whole thing being whatever. I really like that one. I thought it was genius. So this is my My Strange Addiction parody, the second to last video in, uh, in this compilation. And I'm really proud of this one as well. I did that... I had these three days where my mom was in the hospital, like I just talked about. And I had these three days where I was on my summer vacation and nobody was home. My brother and my dad uh, was at work. And so I made three videos, you know, in a row. And I'm really proud of those. Uh, and this one is one of them. And I'm really proud of this one. And I actually didn't even use that much time on filming or edit it. Uh, or writing it, for that matter. I didn't even use that much time on doing it. And it still turned out fucking amazingly. Um, <laughs> I like these little textures. I really like that. I, I found this, um, I don't watch My Strain of Strange Addiction too much. Uh, I'm not too big of a fan of the show, so I just, I found this little short clip that was like three minutes long on YouTube where they had compiled some clips from an episode, and I really took that part for part and made that a parody. I wrote the script from that three-minute video. I edited it from that three-minute video perspective, so it was made exactly like that one, so parody that three-minute video. Uh, but it really turned out amazingly. I don't know if I can get in trouble for using the TLC logo, but there you go. Um, <laughs> don't don't tell him. Don't tell him I did. Uh, so this is, you know, he's telling his brother John about all of this. Um, it was really beautiful weather, just like you saw. I was outside in my garden, actually, pretending like I was talking to an interviewer. Well, I was actually just holding the camera myself and the tripod and everything in my hand. Um, so, uh, it was really beautiful weather, really hot weather, it was, I mean, I love the Danish summer, but I hate the other, you know, <laughs> the other parts of the year, um, but yeah, <laughs> this one, I mean, it's so funny with these little textures, and I know I spelled documentaries wrong in the last word, but fuck that. So here's the newscast going wrong thing, I'm sorry, the intro is a bit loud, uh, this was an intro that I found on YouTube, actually. Just said this breaking news thing, and I thought, why not just use it? And I forgot to tone it down in volume. Uh, classic mistake. And this is one of my only uh, videos done completely on a green screen set. Every part of the video is done on a green screen set. Because I had just gotten my professional green screen setup and everything like that. And uh, I had waited like a month to get the equipment and tube tape uh, that I ordered it from. They were very sorry that I had to wait for s such a long time and everything. They were so sorry that they gave me uh, these backgrounds that you see, the new studio backgrounds, virtual set backgrounds. They gave me that, this entire virtual set for free. Uh, that normally cost like a hundred bucks on their site because they were so sorry uh, that I had to wait for such a long time because they had a lot of delivery problems and everything. Uh, that was on their part, and so they were very sorry, so they gave me a lot of stuff for free, um, a lot of digital downloads for free, like this virtual set, and they also gave me these really, you know, really awesome backgrounds that I can use for videos, like these really artistic sort of images that I can use for backgrounds, fashion sort of images, and they gave me a lot of other stuff as well, filters I can put on my videos and everything, so thank you TubeTape for that, I think they gave me like two, three hundred dollars worth of, of, um, of digital footage um, and things from their website that would add up to about 250 maybe $300 on their website. So Because I had to wait for such a long time. So thank you, Tupte. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm really proud of this video as well. It took a lot of time to shoot. Oh my god. Uh, the raw footage of me sitting, you know, in the, in the newsroom studio 
was like 20 minutes long, and I only talk, you know, the talking part is only like three minutes, but that was because I had to do it in full takes, that's why I turned my head to the side, like doing a new studio, because then I could do a new take, um, but I had to do it all in one take whenever I would say a lot of stuff, because this was supposed to be like a news studio thing video, so I couldn't just, <laughs> I couldn't just make it, you know, I, <laughs> I couldn't make the video uh, where I would just, you know, edit in all the times so you could see me jumping, you know, doing jump cuts. Because um, that would just seem so amateur-like. So I had to do it all in one take, and that was why it took a lot of time to shoot this. And I was sweating like a pig in the end of it because the, the lights are very warm. It's not too bad, actually, but they're very warm. So yeah, this is me telling people about uh, Robots haven't taken over the world, which we all know is going to happen uh, at one point. We all know that. Let's not, let's not lie to ourselves. I should really have brought something to drink. I'm getting really dry in my throat. And this is a Cyberman. Yes, this is a uh, a Cyberman that I found on YouTube. I found one had done like a green screen sort of setup with a Cyberman, and I just took that and put it in there, and it looked really amazing. Like this is my PSA about race race discrimination. I look really fat in this video, don't I? Uh, about race discrimination with my friend Jonas Habach. He hasn't been in videos uh, since that because he's a very busy person. Uh, he's 18 years old, he lives on his own, um, and he also goes to college and everything, so he has a lot of stuff on his plate. He has a job and, you know, school and everything. He's really busy and he's into politics and all that stuff, so... Damn, that guy's busy. So I haven't been able to film with him uh, ever since, but I'm really, really proud of this video. Uh, and it was actually a idea I got on the spot. I didn't write any script for it or anything like that, uh, which I do for almost all my videos, because if I don't, it turns out like shit. Uh, but I actually didn't for this video, because that's, you know, I just got the idea on the spot. Uh, he was like, he really wanted to do a collab with me, he really wanted to do a video with me, and so I was like, okay, sure, let's film a video, and then I got this idea on the spot, and we did this, and it turned out amazingly. Um, so this is about to be the end of the video. They're gonna walk down there. I didn't, I didn't leave in the speaking part because I thought that was, you know I can really say so much about that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say, and we're approaching the end now with Abdul. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I will get going. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out the original Best of Mike and the Lake 2014 video. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.